Harrison Studde found that nobody at Manchester City had played more Premier League minutes than Kyle Walker this season, although John Stones, Emerick Laporte, Bernardo Silva and Raheem Sterling had run him close. Pep Guardiola bemoaned recent injuries to Stones and Gabriel Jesus as an almost inevitable consequence of a punishing schedule that has been relentless pretty much from the first day, but especially since November, when there was no respite given by international fixtures. A few days later, the manager was cursing his luck once more as Laporte and Fernandinho limped out of the cup final against Chelsea with muscle injuries, neither are expected to feature in the next five games. With that in mind, it was entirely sensible that Bernardo, Sterling, and Walker were left on the bench for the home game against West Ham. All three pushed themselves through 120 minutes at the weekend, and have also had little to no rest since their busy summer with the England stars going the distance in the World Cup and Bernardo going almost straight from the last 16 to City's pre-season tour in the United States. They remain key to City's hopes of silverware, but Bournemouth away looks a more difficult test on paper than this home fixture. The first half disintegrated into a groundhog situation whereby one of Kevin De Bruyne and Rilid Mahrez passed the ball too far in front of the other one, and then threw their arms in the air in annoyance. It didn't matter what they tried, the end result was always the same. If it is a concern that the two appear to be as far from each other's wavelength as possible, it was odd that once the problem became evident more play did not go down the left. Leroy Sane and David Silver struck up a formidable combination last year and for the first half of this season, but with the Spaniard short of form for some time, they too lacked a cutting edge. At the London Stadium in November, it was balls from out wide that cut West Ham to ribbons. The opportunity was there again, only for the quality to let the Blues down. The fact both Sane and Maras were hooked before the hour mark signaled what Guardiola thought of their display. This was the third successive clean sheet for City and they have conceded just one goal from games with Arsenal, Everton, Chelsea and West Ham despite having different personnel at the back for each game. Having struggled to keep goals out for what felt like a long spell in the second quarter of the season, Guardiola's side appeared to have clicked again at the back, and West Ham posed little danger. Get Man City latest news updates directly to your inbox. Subscribe. Thank you for subscribing.